Good morning everyone. Well, it's the afternoon now. Welcome to uh, Bullwell Hall Park for this matchup between the Nottingham Rebels and the Stourbridge Titans. Joined as per usual by my co-commentator Greg Cable. Good afternoon Greg. Good afternoon. So Luke Stock up here first in the first inning. Pitcher Red Jones. Good pitcher. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll have a uh, Quaker State uh, sponsored scouting report on Ed in a little bit. Oh, and it's a strikeout for Luke Early. Handcuffed on the inside pitch. That's, mm. that's Ed's bread and butter. Yeah. Good velocity normally. Yes, he's got, he's got good velocity, good movement, the two seam sinker. I think the single header works for Starbridge because if they tend to bring two pitches, the second one's not as good as Ed is. Um, yes, this game should be tight as long as Ed is pitching. Yeah. Uh, Starbridge. Commonly known, well, they used to be the whipping boys of the league, but did take a game from Leicester the other week, I hear. Yeah, the, first, the club first win. And there was some real heat there yeah. from Jones. Batting in the, in the two-hole tattoo. I was, I was talking to Jones for the game, and he said he figures he has 100 pitches in him. So hopefully the Rebels will make him work. Hopefully we'll have that in by three innings. <laughs> yes. He's really, really pumping the heat in now. Tetsu just got a piece of that one. Yeah. It's down 0-2. He's got to be wondering about Ed's... Ed's specialty is his sinker, but he does have breaking balls that he'll bust out with two strikes. We'll see if we'll see it here. He does like to jam on the inside. Yes, his, sin his sinker runs in on Radies. Oh, there, there's I the off-speed pitch. Yes, that was his off-speed. Joining the Rebels now on an 11 for 11 streak. Good season so far? I think so. I think it's uh, there have been some ups and downs, but somehow they're all wins. It's a sort of a, an Atlanta Braves-esque start, really. <laughs> yes. That would make you our BJ Upton. Yes. Oh, wow. No, no, you can't <laughs> say that. He's awful. <laughs> I'll take Justin. No, that'll do. Justin Upton. <laughs> right. Back, back to Jones. Jones go back to the breaking ball. It's, it's not the best breaking ball in the league, but when it's accompanied with his fastball, it's dead. There's the fastball, and that is fouled off to right. I'm not quite sure of the count. I, um, I know it's two strikes. I believe it's a ball and two strikes. Ball and two strikes. Next up would be the home run king, Shannon Henry. And it's four home runs on the year. I believe that leads the Midlands. In fact, he might be the only hitter in the Midlands to hit a home run this season. Oh, Ed Jones hit one off him. Oh, that's right. First game of the year. Oh, It is really is an Ed Jones, Shannon Henry star off. Another breaking ball. And that is caught from the first baseman. Ed, bringing up Henry. Ed is really dominating right now. Mm. That combination of fastball, breaking ball. This is the bottom of the first um, shutout inning from Tetsu pitching. Uh, runners on though, two runners on. Yeah. In fact, Ed was the one uh, Starbridge hit. Yeah. I think, above... I think it scored an error after uh, Technically, yes. Hodson came in a bit too quick and it <laughs> yeah. just bounced off his glove. He is, Jones is the player to watch. First pitch to Henry. Oh, and he leaves it. Not, outside, not typical of Henry. He does like to swing at everything. <laughs> one a pitch. Ooh, low one to chase. But this umpire is known for having a low zone. Yes, yeah, so you gotta, you gotta reach for those. This is power on power. I have a feeling we'll see the breaking ball again. Great story from Henry. Um, it was actually cut by Leicester Blue Sox and then made a miraculous turnaround to then be drafted by the Rebels and then lead them to glory. Yes, it's a real, real, real rags to riches story. The Leicester doesn't know the player they had. Yeah. Ian Henry. The pitch. Low in the dirt. Jones trying to get him to chase. Because he knows he will chase. <laughs> but good eye. Uh, two and one. Two and one is the Possibly. count. Out of curiosity, do you know what the lineup is after Martinez? I believe it's myself and yourself. Okay. As per usual. In, in that or order. really in the dirt. Yes. I, I will go and check momentarily. <laughs> Let's see if Henry gets on first. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure the official scorer will let us know. Yes. If he's awake. <laughs> he's looking awake today. Despite turning up. Apparently he woke up at half twelve. So uh, for a one o'clock start that's quite interesting. But he is here. Ooh, low. Oh, low. And Henry, and Henry draws a walk. I will go check. I think Jones wanted no part of Henry there. And it's, uh, in fact, Jones was a member of the Rebels last year, so he's quite familiar with all these hitters. Knows their strengths, knows their weaknesses. It'll be interesting to see how he pitches Martinez. He's quite a 
idiosyncratic hitter. Prefers the outside pitch. Let's see if Jones pumps him inside with those two seamers. Oh, left it up, but managed to blow it past Martinez. That's where pace lets you get away with all sorts of things. And the announcement on today's lineup, bit of a change up. Adam Taylor getting a promotion into the six hole and oh. Cable moving down to seven. Oh, nice. Runner, oh, and that's not what you want. And then the pop of the first. This and that ends the innings. So at the end of the first, Rebel zero, Titan zero. Okay, we have Ashley Vaughn leading off. Took that pitch low in the dirt. Steps in again. It's the second game with his new stance, although he's, he's modified it slightly here. He's keeping his front toe down. Oh, and he's really wild at the third. Fielded cleanly. Oh, it'll just be on the stretch of the first baseman, and he's going for two. He'll be in okay. Tough play at first, just out of the first baseman's reach. First solid contact of the game for the Rebels. Smacked it right at third baseman. Here's Adam Taylor to the plate. Take strike down low. Gonna have to bow out a commentary momentarily here as I am on deck. So the Rebels here leave one nothing. Cable that bat, no outs. Oh, bunt, bunts the attempt. Oh, and he is safe at first, and that will be an infield single RBI. 
and Taylor scores. Shot. Shot. Young Steve up to bat now. Hitting well in BP. Runners at first. Cable doesn't already steal, but he goes. And he is easily safe a second. Quite comfortably home. Good lead from the youngster. Pitcher throws back. I'm going to bring this back out a bit. See if we can see a bit more. Pitch around the batter. I think two overs the count. In it comes, and it's low. Not quite sure on the count yet. Difficult to tell from the umpire. Looking good here. Cable stealing bases. I think he was doing some hill running like Pablo Sandoval in the uh, off season. Really lost a bit of that weight and uh, looking rapid around the bases. Big cut by the youngster, but uh, he won't be used to anything this quick yet. But he's looking good. Here it comes. Ooh, unlucky. Big hack. 2-2 two, two the count. Just looking for some contact here. Get Cable round to third. Second is very deep in. Ooh, outside. Good leave. Rebels needed a bit of a, a lead here. Jones pitching quite well. Getting a bit more wayward as it goes though. Ooh, and he is struck out looking. Unlucky, but he uh, he ran the count. That's that's a good thing. That's what we're looking for here. One out here, and despite the name on his back, fooling you. This is actually Simon Hodson. Actually leading the averages in this league. One at bat, one hit. Um, so full average of one. Easily leading, and uh, I think Ed Jones will be looking to cut that here. First pitch to him. Is low in the dirt and Cable will make it to third. Good base running there, nice and alert. So, runner at third, one over the count, one out. After Hodson would be stopped, we'd be back at the top of the lineup again, here in the bottom of this second. Ooh, and that's inside. Good leave. Running Ed, tired here. Which is uh, what the Rebels want to do. Because uh, we'd like to see another pitcher here, really. Ooh, curve. Strike given. Interesting. Probably one you want to hit there. And the pitch. Ooh. Good leave by Simon. It's either two or three and one. Not quite sure yet. We'll, we'll take. We'll call it three. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, big hack by Hodson. Bit high for him. Not the one he wants to be chasing there. It's all about discipline for the big lad here. Interesting. The rebel softball captain used to a metal bat, but uh, the big wooden one won't face him. Ooh, inside. Good leave, and he takes his base. Well worked walk by Simon Hodson there. <laughs> One away, as you can hear from the base coaches here, Taylor going round to third as a base coach. So we've got uh, Hodson on first, Cable on third, and uh, he'll want Hodson to be at second, definitely, and Cable round. He'll want to be stealing this boy. First pitch. Ooh, good leave. Look good from here, but we can't really see the plate, so probably sensible. 1 0 pitch to stop, and it comes. Ooh, strike, and he's taken it. I think he's annoyed. I think there was a steal call, and I don't think Hodson's paying attention yet. 1 1 pitch. Ooh, good leave. Good eye by Stott. Really worked on his eye. And contact hitting. Very well this year. 
2-1 pitch to start. Ooh, that's high. Yeah, Hudson will steal. He'll get to second on a pass ball nice and comfortably. So, 3-1 uh, the count, I think. Runners at second and third. Anything deep in the air here, and Cable will tag up and score. In the pitch. Strike given. He's run the count. Count is full. One out. Stop usually swings on this. It's not often he leaves. And it comes. Ooh, that. Ooh. Looked interestingly low. I'd love to see a replay. Fortunately, we have that kind of capability here. And I'm sure Stott will want to have a look at that. Throwing the helmet because he does not look happy. Crazy. <sighs> Brings up Tetsu. Could do with a couple more in here. Just to pad that lead. Nice and secure. Tetsu's a good contact hitter. And here we go. First pitch. Oh, it's inside. Good leave. Wanna know. I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit. Just to see really where it's passing the hitter. Cable having a good lead at third. Anything and he's running a two out. Oh, and it's passed. Cable is running and running. Oh, and it's a... He has to go back to third. Or oh, does he? No, that one scores. It's gone through the net, but Cable does score. Three nothing to the Rebels. I think Tetsu will get an RBI for that. Cable is coming over to confirm. Tetsu get an RBI for the world, for the first pitch? No RBI. Still learning here as a commentator, but uh, it's good. It's good base running by Cable. <laughs> Bunt single. Had to be given as a single because it took him a while to get there. Yeah, well, no, as, soon, as soon as it got off the bat, I was like, yes, that's exactly where I wanted to be. Ooh, hi to Tetsu, and he ducks out the way like a ninja. Horrible stereotype there, I do apologise. So the Rebels lead here, 3-0. Nice to pad this lead with a pitcher yeah, like this on. Uh, so the game plan is paying off, making Jones work. And he is looking tired already. Shown by that an yet another walk. I can't see him going more than five. As we are in the bottom of second, he's thrown a hell of a lot of pitches. But he is a stallion of an athlete, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure he'll completely prove us wrong. Brings yes. back Henry. He has tremendous endurance from his uh, badminton background. Once played at badminton, so I heard. Despite the fact it's a horse thing, he uh, tests his stealing, and they will give him that back without a throw. Good base running by the Rebels. Hodson on three. Ooh, Ooh and it hits and Henry, Henry on the leg. Ooh, and you gotta wonder whether that was intentional. There's some bad blood between these two. Looking like a, bench, a basis clearing, bench clearing brawl, but uh, the players decided it wasn't in their best interest and they stood down. Calmer heads prevailed. Mm. Brings up the Dominican Martinez. Big, big segment of the game. Mm. The Rebels and can really go for the juggler here. Bases loaded, two out. Given a bit of words of confidence from, from Taylor. Taylor probably saying, just hit it. <laughs> They're giving him the right center gap. I'm, I'm going to have to get on deck. <laughs> Let's see what Martinez does with this first pitch. Takes it at the knees. That's a tough one to do anything with. Martinez is going to wait for a pitch to drive. Though if Jones keeps locating there, he'll, he'll be in, uh, in trouble. Another nice pitch. Just got a piece of it. So Martinez quickly in the hole here. And for the first time in a while, Jones has some pitches to work with. Will he risk a breaking ball in the dirt with the runner on third base? I think he just might. No, it was fastball, just past the diving shortstop. Tetsu comes in to score. Henry holds a second. It's a two-run single for Martinez. Five-nothing. Big at bat, big two-strike hitting for Martinez. Stayed back on that pitch that Jones left up. Surely a mistake. He didn't mean to leave that pitch up. Now Vaughn. Trying to continue the inning. Runs the first and second. Two out. Calls time to adjust the shoes. 
He's not on camera. There he is. There he is. And there's Taylor, Taylor walking across your screen. Preparing for his at bat. Vaughn's Von, got the leg elevated. The foot elevated again. Takes pitch inside. Set at the plate. Oh, there's a low one. But probably a strike with this uh, with this zone. It's quite a quite a low zone today. From uh, umpire. You know what? I don't have my notes. Sean Brotherhood. That's his name. What a save there from the jaws of defeat. Anyway, two balls and strike to Vaughn. Oh, shows bunt, takes it back, and the runners advance on a wild pitch. Henry taking a look at home, but that's not going to happen. So Vaughn's worked the count in his favor. First base is now open. Does Jones stay away from him, or does he try to end this inning right now? He's a real competitor, so I don't think I don't think he's afraid of Vaughn. I think he'll come right after him here. Oh, and Vaughn got it. That one good to short. Does it play at first? Oh, it's in the dirt. Oh, what a pick. What a pick by the first baseman. And the Titans get out of it to minimize the damage. 5 0. Uh, Rebels conceded a run off uh, for an error from Henry at second, past first baseman. And then a nice double over the center fielder's head. Scored that runner. 5 on the score, brings up Cable. Bunt single, his last at bat. Oh! And that is a lovely hit. And that should be a double. It ca car caroms off the fence. And he is safely in at two with a lovely double. Getting the appreciation of the fans. That brings up the youngster. Out on a court strike last time, but um, worked the count really well. Instructed to swing on a 3-2 pitch this time. First pitch to him, runner on second. One out. And that's low, and passed, and Cable will easily get to third. Cable again working himself into a scoring position, and he looks tired. <laughs> but he works himself around very well again. After him would be the uh, Mr. OBP, Simon Hudson. Still retaining that best average in the league. Albeit he probably doesn't have enough bat at bats to qualify, but um, we'll give it to him anyway. Ooh. Hack at one that probably should have been left alone, but um, needs, needs to be swinging a bit more, so that's good. And the pitch. Oh, that's low. Mm. Cable stays. There's definitely no play there. Good little bit on it from the catcher. <laughs> Only the second home game of the season for the Rebels. Game was supposed to be um, on against the Titans here a few weeks back, but got cancelled because the, the Titans couldn't field a squad. And the pitch to the youngster. And it's low. Left well for a ball. He's calling 2 2 the count. I can't remember the second strike, but okay. Ooh, unlucky. Good, good foul. Fouled away. Interesting today is a full nine inning game. Only one game here today, so don't expect a second waiting for it on YouTube. Oh, good eye. And he draws a walk. Very well done. Still only one out. Brings up Mr. Average, Simon Hudson. Yes, 
Mr. Softball himself. David Wright toe tap. I like the technique. And it comes, and it's low. And the runner is going to second. And he stays on the base. And Cable comes in home, and he will score. The Rebels now lead 6-1. It's been very good base running by the Rebels today. Been a bit guilty of getting caught out at third and first in recent weeks. But looking good. Hmm. Takes one low. So runner on second. 1-0 is the count. Next pitch to Simon. Oh, and it's, he's hit it. Is he going to get there? Oh, and he will get there. Go, go, go. And the, and the runner is going to score at home. That is an RBI for Simon Hudson. And if they've scored that a hit, he keeps up being Mr. Average. I think they've called the no steal. <laughs> See if he goes anyway. You know, he stays. And the batter up is Stott. Tells us he used to run for England and used to run the 100 in something like 10-7, I believe he said. Good leave, and but he is down at second. Is he going to get in at third? Yeah, looking easily in at third. And he stays in. Good base running from Hodson. <coughs> As I said, the batter Luke stop. Says he can run it in 10-7 and I don't disbelieve him seeing him running these bases. On deck would be Tetsu. He's telling me to put down my ice cream, but it's just too good round here. And the ice cream van is leaving as it goes away. But it's provided me with a tasty treat, so all good. Welcome back, Greg Cable. Good bait running out there. Yeah. Oh, pass ball. Ooh. No, 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 no. One thing I learned from last time, if you run the bases, don't immediately come in and do commentary. Yeah, because you, you tend to be quite tired. Yeah, you don't notice when you're talking that you're out of breath. Mm. But on, uh, on film, later on, it's very noticeable. Yeah. You look very tired at third for a minute. It's so the second time, well, you've cleared the, you've gone around all the way. Yeah. That's part of my. Uh, oh, oh jammed him. This will be tough. Oh, oh, it'll, oh no way! They're throwing. And look at him. the speed. He is safe. There's no way you're throwing out. I think the camera work was a bit poor there, but I think you might just have caught him getting there. And that is some supreme pace. I think the pitcher was really the only guy that had a play there. Mm. As soon as I got past the pitcher, it was always going to be, always going to be a single. Hey, hey! Just crept past him. Cable okay, will have to leave to do third base coaching. That brings up the young Japanese import, Tetsu. Uh, pick off attempt at first, not successful. Tetsu drafted in from the Loughborough Dynamo this season. The Japanese import. Played a lot in Japan and is attracting a huge following out there. Um, a lot of hopes on this guy this season from the followers back home. Oh, another pickoff attempt. Stott easily backed. Oh, and the guy punches him in the balls. <laughs> that was just bad sportsmanship right there. Who does that? That is a tag that no one wants to see. And I hope that was caught because that was just vicious. Ow. I think there's still one out. <sighs> Left and the runner will he'll easily get there. He's just too quick. Even even with a bit of a, a limp on, he will get there. So one out. Lots of runners home. The official scoring something like 8-1. Rough estimate. Brings up Tetsu. And uh, he's had a good eye so far. Is there going to be an attempt to third? And the pitcher steps off. And throws. Although I don't really see the point as... Stodd is quite safely in second. Thankfully the, uh, the weather has held out here today. Here it comes. Ooh, takes it for a strike. We'll bring up Henry. Interestingly batting in his sunglasses. Um, don't see that here very often. 
but uh, why not? Tetsu will get it. Oh, and he will get it on an error. Drop ball from the pitcher, and this is not Jones's best day. Letting the Rebels score here. <laughs> Brings up Henry, runners at first and third. I would be very surprised if we don't see a steal. <laughs> very surprised. <laughs> Bit obvious with the call, but good lead from Tetsu. Okay. Catcher's got a decent arm, so don't expect it to be an easy stay. Not an easy take at all. First one to Henry. Will there be a put out? Pick off attempt, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll zoom out. In comes the pitch. And he goes. Good leave. And the runner will get home very safely. Not really a throw attempt by the catcher, so. Uh, we'll leave it there. Henry coming into this game on the back of two home runs last weekend. Could do with something from him here. Not his pitch, and he's left it well inside. Good job, man. Your average is still one. I can't believe it. The next pitch to Henry. Looking for a big booming drive here. Oh, that will creep into the outfield. And he scores one. And the second runner will get home. Oh, play it second. He's going to have to get down. And he's safe. Called safe. Oh. Umpire confusing there. But called out. Unlucky. Good attempt. Probably the right call. Now we'll have to go get on deck. Uh, just aim and shoot. <laughs> so I should just preparing to bat after Oscar. This uh, is Simon and Mike. Can we get both in shots or is Nah, not right? really. Yeah, you can just about. Ooh, Martinez leaves it for a strike. No one on first though. So I don't really know why I've panned out. <laughs> we'll leave the pitcher alone for the time being. Next one to Martinez. Ooh, and that's in the air. And that has gone! That is a home run for Martinez. Big hit. Rebels leading him further. <laughs> okay, a bit of confusion. We've got people shouting in the outfield, making a lot of noise. Ultimately, he's, uh, he's on second base. Uh, took a bounce before the fence. There we go, let's see what our commentators got.
What you thinking of guys, man, man? It's going high, where's it going? No, two misses. Ashley safe at first, we've got a runner going home. Vuska safe. There's a man with a big hat. So just missed her, uh, actually diving at first. Ashley's gone. Is he getting there? Easy, very, very safe. Nice yeah, staying tight on base. Good here, has it gone past the infield? Yes it has. Ashley safe on third going home. Adam dancing to help him get there and Adam running to second. And safe on second with Ashley coming home. Next up we've got Greg. Rebels lead this 12-3. Titan scoring a couple on a on a nice hit that fell uh, fell just short of centre field. And they ran a couple in, but there was a force out at home by yeah, our man Greg Cable here. There you go. There's a help by the umpire. Yeah. 
Uh, did it bounce off his leg? Yeah, yeah, right back to me. The guy nice. would have scored easily if not. Nice. In fact, he was so far out that I didn't. I, even... I don't know why anybody sent him to be honest. Yeah, but, I uh... didn't. I didn't even see him. I was standing around, being like, Yeah. And he was about halfway. Ooh, and we have a change of pitcher. The youngster that was tagged out at home is now to pitch. Oh, wow, you are good with names and faces. I have no idea who that was who was out at home. It was him. Ooh, and that is a nice pace. I hope that's his curveball because <laughs> that is going a long way. Give Henry that, and he will not be leaving it. Uh, it's a bit of it's a bit of change of pace from Jones. Oh, wouldn't you just love to be facing that now? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit of a short armor. Yes, for a shot putting. But he is only young, and we've got to give him his credit. Oh, he is. Yeah, it's a rather handbag throw. You can just imagine him now with a handbag in his hand. We'll zoom in on this. Watch the handbag. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So that, that's what it looks like when you're when you're aiming the pitch. Yeah. Because if you. But I expect he's got a better zone than I have, so <laughs> fair play to him. And we encourage the youngsters in this game. Nice to see some young British guys coming through. Ooh, that's high. Cable leaving now to uh, coach their base, despite the fact he's not really needed yet. First batter up, uh, new player for the Rebels. A guy called Taku. Seems a nice guy. Uh, we'll see what he's got. See what his swing's like. Last minute call into this game due to the disappearance of Michael Hayward. No one still knows where he is. But he was up until six in the morning working, so uh, we'll give him his credit. He's probably dead. Yeah, we'd like to hope he's not dead. But uh, you never know with that man. So bottom of the fourth here. Ooh. I imagine he's a base dealer as well. I don't know. He's, he's got that wiry frame that looks like he can run. You know, he probably doesn't know what the signs are, so pitching third. Uh, yeah. Probably be an easy job. <laughs> I just like to hope he goes anyway. So the new pitcher to the new batter into this game. First pitch. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. See what the guy swings like. First pitch, it's there, and it's outside. Good lead for ball one. <laughs> this would mean 12 from 12 from the Rebels if it stays like this. Perhaps a mercy rule in the seventh. Ooh, that's that's outside. I don't know if he's trying to throw a curve, or well, it's just the way it comes out of his hand. Interesting though. Not sure what they have in relief otherwise, as this is only the fourth inning. Jones run, absolutely ragged. Here it comes. Ooh, big hack at a one that just doesn't want to be hacked at. Should be leaving those, but uh, very tempting at that pace, as any uh, bat and ball person will know. 2 1 pitch. Outside, 3 and 1. Could be seeing a leadoff walk here. Enters in the game for Steve here, who played very well. Drew walks. Ooh, and it's hit straight at the third baseman. He throws to the first baseman, and that is out at first. One down, unfortunate for the young man. Good for the young man pitcher, though. That brings up Hodson, Mr. Average. It was reported earlier that Henry was very annoyed by this average, as uh, I think Henry might be up there in the league otherwise. But uh, Hodson holding on to his title here. I think even if he does ground out here, he's still at 666, so two from two with a walk. Here it comes. Ooh, that's outside, that's well left. Good eye, this guy. Plays a lot of softball. We'll, we'll know what he's doing. 1 0 pitch from the youngster. Ooh, very high. 2 0. As usual, this broadcast is brought to you by Hooters of Nottingham and the Lime Kiln, Bullwell. Lots of nice places to drink. Ooh, and that is a strike. 2-1. Nice floater right there. You know, you've got to wait for this pitch. But when you do hit it, make sure you hit it. Really hit it. Contact hit it more than a power hit, Simon. Ooh, that's low. Good eye. Three-one pitch. Would love a walk here. So that brings up the top of the order and uh, could well score some runs. 
3-1 pitch. Oh, and that's low, and Hodson draws a very good walk. <laughs> say the uh, difficulty for the players here is really not getting themselves out here, waiting for that pitch that's right there, and if not, drawing a walk. Do we expect the steal from Hodson here? I'm not sure. Still not entirely confident on his base running yet, but certainly has worked on it, and what an improved player he is. Don't know if he's going to steal, though. Takes another step, and he's not going. Stop leaves one outside the zone. Probably one he could have gone there, as this kid's uh, pitching action is quite slow. So probably enough time on the throw. Here we go, and the pitch. Ooh. Pass ball, and Hodson will easily get into second without the throw. Rebels have a runner on second. Stott up to bat. Tetsu on deck. Good part of the lineup to be in for the Rebels with a runner on. Stott has room to base run as well. And it comes. Oh, and it hits him. Stott not happy about it. I think he thought about getting out of the way of it. But uh, he doesn't. And. Uh, the Rebels will have runners on first and second. Bring up the very good contact hitter, Tetsu. Good calling from his base coaches there for Hodson. Just assuring him. And the pitch. Ooh, and it's outside. Ball one. Bringing in the power hitters after this. Henry, Martinez, Vaughan, Taylor, Cable. All capable of big hits. Discussion between uh, Tetsu and his manager, Henry, about what they want to do. It's probably draw a walk and we'll keep walking them around. And then, if it's in that zone, hit it. Henry probably prefers the quicker pitches to hit out the, out the park, but uh, quite frankly, he'll hit anything at the park, so. Ooh, second's gone in. In the dirt. Good leave. Apologies here. Hay fever is wild today. Ooh, and that's that's in the air. And it's taken. Oh, should have been tagging up perhaps, but uh, not happened now. And that's two down for the Rebels. Unlucky for Tetsu. Nice hit, but. Uh, Straight down left field throw. <laughs> Little shout out for the uh, Michelova Lions with a big 22 yesterday. Good points for them. One of the days where it could go anyway. Anyway, back to baseball. Brings up Henry. And we all know the damage he can do here. It's just the temptation that will be difficult for him. With the first pitch. Ooh. Big hack, but Hodson gets to third. Good base running, good al good alertness. Not quite the same from Stott. Probably talking, but we don't mind that. You know, if Henry hits it, I think he's probably home. As he's running on any hit, as there are two outs. One oh pitch to Henry. Oh no, there was a hack. That was a on the steal. Oh foul. Stott will not be happy about that. Oh and two to Henry, and it's just as we thought it would be. Just as we thought it would be. Henry struggling to deal with it. He's got to get into softball mode. That's what he's used to there. And there's a hit from Henry. Again, the left fielder is lining it up, and it's taken. Hell of a celebration for a team that's 12-3 down. But uh, as I say, the Rebels lead 12-3. Ford, four and he's gone. Tina's at the plate. The uh, relief pitcher staying in for a second inning of work. So pitched a scoreless frame last time out. Just a good job by him, the young rookie. And oh, Martinez's is... eyes were big on that one. It's quite different from Jones. And I believe it may take a time through the order for these batters to adjust. Jones had some, quite the pace on him. <laughs> Tinez takes that one high.
Throwing a bit of swagger there at the plate. And takes a look at that one in the dirt. Two balls and strikes to Martinez. You know he wants to crush one. Just narrowly missed the home run last time up. Had a ground rule double. Looks at that one. Doesn't quite got the timing down yet. His weight shift is way in front of that one. Two strikes on him now. He's really going to have to wait for this pitch to get across the plate. Looks for time. Gets it. So reset his mental state here. Got to pull back on the anxiousness. Just got to shorten up and just make sure with this pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and he was out in front of it. Popped it up. Catcher taking a look. Oh, almost, almost an acrobatic catch there by the catcher. Martinez lives another day. Slowly getting the timing right on this pitcher. He looks locked in now. Waves his bat once. Ooh, outside. Let's work the count full. Here comes full count delivery. In the dirt, he'll take the walk. A rare walk for Martinez. He usually likes to put the ball in play. We'll see how active he is on the base pass. It's getting the sign. Vaughn taking a look. I believe the steal is on, but Vaughn didn't see it, so... Oh, no, he did. He shows bunt. Well blocked by the catcher to keep Martinez a second. He was always going to be grabbing second there. Vaughn showing a bit of bunt, and oh. Looks like the steal of third's on as well, and there he goes. Vaughn takes another look. No throw. So Martinez aggressively takes second and third. With the score 12 to 3. 12 to 4, sorry. Bold choice. Let's see if we can... Take a look at Vaughn here. Pitch. He gets away. It's going to be a play at the plate. No. Martinez heads back to third. Good teamwork there by the catcher and the pitcher. Get home plate covered. Martinez is quite aggressive, so they're going to have to be prepared for every pitch in the dirt. Meanwhile, Vaughn has worked the count to a very favorable 3-0. Calls time. As a rookie, you have to figure he's got the take sign here. But will Vaughn listen? He does. Draws the walk. And that brings up Taylor. Runners on the corners. Runners on the corners, no one out for Taylor. Let's see if there's Vaughn goes. Yeah. Vaughn takes two rather easily. They're letting him run now. Runners on second and third for Taylor. Oh, and he smacks that on the ball. Yes, I 
All right, yeah. He still could. 14-4 to the Rebels here. Bottom of the fifth. Looking pretty comfortable. 15 run lead within the fifth, I believe. Would be a slaughter rule, but not necessarily going to happen here. Cable at the uh, at the bat, and that's wide. Good leave. No outs here. Some good base running. And, uh, lots of walks. You've got to get on base to be able to run. So, man at second. Taylor, good stealer. Ooh, good leave by Cable. Didn't nick him. At least his reaction doesn't say so anyway, so. Ooh. You might run out of film before this game is done. Cable here. Runner's not going. Ooh, Cable hacks at a horrible one. And the throw to third is not nearly in time. Cable somehow gets to first. Was that strike three running? Oh, I suppose it was, yeah. Hack and a miss. Shut! Batter up his uh, Taku. Didn't see much from him before. Grounded out, I believe. Likes to swing, but this might be a bit nicer for him. Ooh, and a pass ball. And the runner is easily going to score. Cable to second. 15 4 Rebels. Looking a good one here for the Rebels. They would love a lot more. They would love a real landmark score. Especially with Jones starting. That would be lovely. Really sends a message to everyone. So though Rebels winning comfortably pretty much every game. No real landmark score yet. Perhaps after last week. The 2010 from last week. That is down. Oh wow. Error on the infield. And... Taku gets in on an error, but on base nonetheless. Cable, not really sure where to go there, but uh, I don't think any of us would have been. Brings up Mr. Average. Still holding that average. How Henry would love to see that drop. Well, he wouldn't really, but... Uh, ooh, good leave. <coughs> so, 1 0 pitch. To Hodson. Standard David Wright toe tap. Oh, and it's very high. <laughs> I wonder how long they're going to keep this youngster out. I think it's really affecting his confidence. He really does not look happy out there. <laughs> nice and slow, and he's there to hit if it's there. Pitch to Hodson. It's low, and it's in the dirt. Cable will get to first. Taku to second. Two runners in scoring position. RBI opportunity for Hodson. The top of the lineup to follow him. This could be a big one. Requires some sensible hitting though. Something the Rebels were a bit guilty of not doing in the last inning. Oh, Hodson. Hodson. Oh, I don't know. He might get there. And he's out at first, but the runner will score. Is that one, Chad? I think it's one. One down. One down. Brings up the lefty stop. Lots of open bases for him to steal. Especially if the runner scores. You can do it. I won that time, but I won. Ooh, and stop. Tag! Back, 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 back. Oh, and the catch in the infield. So that's two down now. Trouble with it being in the zone. You really want to hit it, but it's, uh, it's one of those slow ones that can be easily put up in the air. Brings up the hitters of the order. Tetsu, Shannon Henry, and Oscar Martinez. Comes into Tetsu. 
Oh, and it's outside. Good eye. <laughs> I think uh, the Rebels will be uh, at Hooters later, I imagine. If anybody would like to join us, but I uh, imagine by the time this cast has gone, it's probably a bit too late. <laughs> Ooh, and it's low. Really had to duck out of the way of that one, despite the fact it was coming at about 10 miles an hour. <laughs> Two huge ground rule doubles at the moment. Um, neither of them actually crossed. Both bounced through or over. Tetsu at the plate. Ooh, and it's outside. Catcher really has to die for that one. I think we're about to run out of tape. So if this cuts off, I do apologise. Might get to see Tetsu hit. The one, isn't he? The phenom from Loughborough. Still a ball, despite the fact of the appeals from Stourbridge. Good day for the Rebels so far. Yeah, yeah, it's been... Uh Sort of ignoring the score. Yeah, sloppy hitting though. Some mm. some nonsensible hitting at times. Yeah. Not much contact hitting, especially the last inning. <laughs> but uh, it's overall, it's been a the last few games have been a bit sloppy on Rebels, even though they won. Yeah. This one's been in the field pitching, been tight, pitching a defense. And that'll be wide. Ball four, and Tessa will walk. <laughs> Capable stealer as well. And I imagine with the catcher's arm, the way it is, and the call from Adam Taylor that we are stealing on anything, <laughs> that this will be an insta-steal. It's Oscar and he's at third. First. Oh, first, sorry. Taylor is one of the more aggressive base coaches, so he'll be sending Tetsu. And Henry's batting left-handed. Ooh, switch hit for Henry. And the steal's on left and no throw. I think we called that.